Welcome back to another tech educational video. So today we will talk about help desk technician. My goal is to help you choose a career or seek employment into the tech industry. So let's get right into it. Before I get into that, I will definitely love for you to know who I am. Again, my name is Camille Thompson. I am a proactive information technology management support, delivering outstanding support in the e-commerce operation and technology industry. I am a, I consider to be an IT tech, right? I troubleshoot customers' tech problem, resolve issues related to computers, phone, tablet, modem, internet, network, software, and it goes on and on the list. Um, I also help women start and grow their e-commerce businesses through brand awareness and attraction marketing. So just to give you, you know, a little synapse, and I also do e-commerce coaching. But let's dive right into it. Before we get into it, please go ahead and subscribe if you are brand new to this channel here. Also, if you can click the like button and the notification bell so you'll be able to get more of my videos as I produce them. Um, my goal is to make sure that this video can spread to as much students who are gearing toward this career so we can give them a better understanding. So uh, tech technical support, computer security. I have covered these. You can check in my playlist, but we will discuss today help desk technician, and we will continue um, the other video for next week for entry level programmer. So let's get right into it. Today, we'll talk about help desk technician. So help desk technician offer assistance to end users right? And users are considered to be, let's say, for example, you are the technician and if you have um, the office or the company used in their computer and they fall into some issue, if they fall into some issue, you as the IT tech is going to problem solve. Help Desk Technician offers assistance to end users or customers who encounter technical issue with hardware, software, and system. So we pretty much problem solve any problem the end users have, have or the customer. Also, this support can be delivered through phone, email, chat, or in person. The great news is we have the education and the knowledge uh, to help troubleshoot it either or either. We are here to problem solve. How do they resolve problems? As you can see, many different ways right through instructions, meaning step-by-step -step hands or, or guidance, or through database, knowledge-based system. So pretty much if you encounter some issue, we, you know, we use agile method, meaning that if there's a problem, we solve it, but we also take notes while we are um, problem solving, right? So then we start to document each issue. And if we find that we were able to resolve it, then it becomes a knowledge base. So someone else can refer back to it just in case if there's an issue, right? So database, knowledge base, providing solution. Also remote support, right? Remote accessing and controlling users device to fix issue. So those are the ways that we resolve problems. Troubleshooting issue. So help desk technician, they diagnose and analyze problems, right? Uh, to determine the cause of technical issue related to hardware, malfunction, uh, software error, or user error. So kind of like when you think about fishing, right? Fishing a person that tailor um, individuals, right? They'll pull information and act as if they know you just to try to steal information from you. We as technician, we are able to risk mitigate that, right? We are prepared to uh, stop the threat, you know, as well as uh, making sure that we're able to put a permanent stoppage through it. So we do all different kinds of things when it comes down to uh, troubleshooting. The goal is to make sure that we are able to resolve any issue within any mean necessary. So we also document cases, right? So we document case and log information to help in tracking recurring issue and improving support processing. So that's kind of like what I had said earlier uh, for the KB, the knowledge base system. It's pretty much the same. We track just to see what we're able to resolve and then we can always 
use it as a reference for any ongoing issues. They also maintain record of report issue, troubleshooting steps and solution provided. Escalating complex issues. So we as um, tech, technical support, right? Help desk technician. If we have spent hours trying to problem solve something and it didn't work, then we have to escalate it to a hierarchy. This means of the upper level since we're not able to resolve it, right? So the higher level support personal or specialist within the organization, and it's a must because at the end of the day, when we deal with businesses and organization, there has to be some solution, but if we're not able to fix it, then we'll have to escalate it. So like I said, we escalate unresolved problems as well. Hardware maintenance. So we have, so we as help desk technician, we maintain hardware and basic repairs like replacing components. We also set up new equipment when they are needed. We also develop users training. So we provide training. Um, we guide users on how to use certain softwares and hardware effectively, minimizing any future issues. When it comes down to customer service, we deliver in a high level of customer service is crucial in this role as technician, we must be patient, clear in their communication, and empathetic to users' frustration. We also stay informed. We, we, we have to stay on top of things in terms of uh, data, risk mitigating, because at the end of the day, we have to protect all the threats that is within the organization or whenever something may take action in terms of uh, losing data. That is very important to us. So we keep up to date with technology, trend, and update. It's very essential to provide effectiveness and ongoing support. When it comes down to internships, so let's say if you are currently in college and if you're seeking internship experience, by the way, this was me when I was in college back in 2000 and I think 16 at the time, 16, 17. Um, I went ahead and seek internship experience and that was great for me. So if you're someone uh, in college at the moment and you are seeking internship, make sure you go to um, your college and go speak to the career department, let them know that you want to uh, get some internship so you can you know, find the proper job as well as making sure you're getting uh, that experience, knowing that when you go on a job, you're not brand new or feeling like you can't accomplish certain tasks or workflow. So it is important to seek internship from your college. And if you're unable to find employment, then the next step is to go to workforce. Workforce, they train employees um, for development opportunities and continuing education programs. So if you feel like, you know, you're not fit enough, if you feel like you're not able to, you know, uh, work that job, then if you need more support, workforce is for you as well as career source, right? If you want to learn how to, um, let's see if we can go over there. When it comes down to career source, you can go to the career services and they have uh, different they have different, they have workshop, career fairs, training and education and job search. So you can do your due diligence and check it out. Let me go ahead and click workforce as well. Just so you can see that they have a lot of resources here for you. So as you can see, they have over 5,300 plus individuals serve a 60 location and they partner with 65 plus cooperation. So this is very effective. All right. So you can go ahead and check that out for yourself in your local area. All right. And so this is it for today. I'm glad I was able to assist you on that. If you have any question, concern, go ahead and drop me a comment below. Let me know if you're currently in college and what you're trying to pursue at this time. Also, let me know what topic you'd like for me to speak in future videos, and I would love to cover that for you. 
Thanks again for watching. Your girl here, Camille. You be blessed.